welcome to the Reef Community Worldwide. I know I'm new on YouTube, so I'm not good at this camera, talking, but I like to give a little bit of information out about people ask me on the Facebook group and ask the other admin on the Facebook group. So I think it's nice to do a few videos every now and then. Today I'm going to be talking about bubble scrubbing. So, let's get to it. So, uh, bubble scrubbing is a good way of getting the crap out of your tank. Let me just show you the initial setup and a couple of things that you need. Easiest pie to do, so let's do it. You can hear it, that noise is the air pump that's on at the minute. Let's turn that off. So, what you need is an air pump, a wooden air stone, that's it. That's your setup for bubble scrubbing. And what I also use is an eat amount. I clip that onto a wooden air stone and it goes in your baffle, in your sump, parallel with your return pump, about two thirds down. Let's put that in. So that's in. Turn it on. As you see there, the big bubbles are now rising within the baffle. And on the other side, it's a bit dark in there, but no bubbles. You won't see really any bubbles floating in the return section. Let me show you up here. So, out of the return now, you see some very fine bubbles. If you come back, you can't even see the bubbles in your tank. That's how it should be. It shouldn't be overrun with bubbles. If it's overrun with bubbles, it's too low in your baffle. So just raise it up a little bit. So, what does bubble scrubbing do? Put this straight. Bubble scrubbing removes small loose detritus from within your tank it promotes a uh, coral slime which is basically moves all the crap off your corals so it produces them to produce the slime which is promotes growth and it also if you run it at night your air stone at night your micro bubble your ph stays stays stable if I'm right there Right, so how does the bubbles work and how does it catch the detritus? Here's a little example. So, if this is a piece of detritus in your tank, these bubbles, which are non-buoyant, because they're that small, so they don't float, they actually sink. With your wave makers flowing, they'll blow around your tank. These little bubbles will attach to the detritus. So one will come here, one will come here, one will come here. As they start attaching to the detritus, then, because you've got so much air, then they'll start to flow. Flow. And obviously, go into your return section. Your overflow section, even. So that's how it works. I wouldn't say it gets rid of all the crap out of your tank. That, that is what you've got to do. You've got to, you've got to do gravel vacuum. You've got to make sure it's clean, your tank. You've got to bit blow the bigger bits out. It works to an extent. When you've got that cleanliness done with your maintenance, the bubble scrubbing will do the rest. And it really, really does work. Like I said, I've been doing it for two months. After the maintenance I've been doing, and the bubble scrubbing I've been doing, I'm, uh, the growth is exceptional. Like, these have doubled in size. Th things are just growing silly, which is, is what you're wanting when you've got a reef tank. As for pH, in the sea, in the oceans, there is no pH wings. pH is around 8.3. That's how it should be. In your tank at night, 
because there's no light, if you've got a reverse light refugium, it'll drop, your pH will drop, and it's not natural. It's not natural for it to drop. What you want is stability. This will give it you. Since I've been doing this, my pH is stabilizing at 8.28, day and night. So it's, it's basically flatlined since doing this, which is, is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. What I've also seen, if you can see, that's 10 month old, 11, 11 month old sand. It's just crystal white. It, it, it's white all the time now. Like I said, the growth is amazing. Everything is, if you can see, everything's got white tips. All that is since, since doing this. I've not changed anything. Since doing it, I've not changed my chemicals. I have added a reactor, but that's after I did all my maintenance, big maintenance. So I didn't just add a reactor, I, I was doing gravel vacuuming, getting all the crap out of my tank, lowering my nitrates and phosphates manually, feeding less. I was feeding way too much, way, way, way too much. The fish like to process the food. The more food you put, up, put in, the more it's going to break down. Your bubble scrubbing is not going to combat all that. Com combat all that should I say so that's something that you don't want to be doing is overfeeding but bubble scrubbing honestly it really really does work give it a go you'll never regret it